guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your review of the Baku Grand Prix qualifying at Azerbaijan. Wow, what an insane qualifying session that was. I've never saw anything like that. I mean, four red flags. Absolutely insane. You know, it was Lance Stroll who brought out the first red flag. And then Antonio Giovinazzi brought out another one in Q1. So now it's two in Q1, one in Q2 and one in Q3. Absolutely insane. Ricardo brought out the red flag in Q2, which that is another horseshit qualifying for Daniel Ricardo. I'm afraid. Yep, and that ruined Sebastian Vettel's lap. And Fernando Lonzo made it through to Q3. Vettel misses out because he got caught out by Daniel Ricciardo crashing out. And then Q3, what drama in the end. You know, Gasly, he hit the wall and then Carlos Sainz took a fighting action and he ended up crashing his Ferrari. Insane. Wow. Unbelievable. And that means Charles Leclerc is on pole position for a second Grand Prix in a row. Leclerc has always been good at this circuit, but yet again on the street circuit, Ferrari on pole position. P2 for Lewis Hamilton. I am absolutely delighted with that because that Mercedes does not look happy this weekend at all. But Lewis Hamilton in qualifying pulls it out of the bag and gets P2 and starts ahead of his championship rival, Max Verstappen, who is P3. Now, I still think Red Bull are going to be favourites in the race, but P2, you know, Toto Wolff and the Mercedes mechanics will be very happy with that because Wolff could not quite understand what was going on with the Mercedes during the FP1, 2 and 3 sessions. But, you know, wow. Absolutely unbelievable. Exciting qualifying. The most exciting one I saw for a long time. So, Ferrari, Charles Leclerc on pole position. I mean, can he do well in the race? I mean, Ferrari at the race face, then yes. But sometimes with the Ferraris, they do well in qualifying, but then drift away in the race. So I really hope Leclerc can take the fight to Hamilton and Verstappen. I really do. Bottas got unlucky. The red flag, it came out. So yeah, this final lap compromised, unfortunately, without she Bottas. But that was such an entertaining session because that was so unpredictable. Gasly has looked impressive this weekend. He was fastest in FP3. And qualified fourth. That is absolutely fantastic in the Amphitari. And Yuki Tsunoda has looked much better this weekend as well. George Russell has made it through into Q2 yet again. Despite the problems, he outqualifies Nicholas Satifi. Nikita Mazepin had a spin or something in the house. He is back. Mazda spin. <laughs> I mean, but fair play the way he did in Monaco, though. You know, keeping it out on the wall is absolutely fantastic. But, yep, Mazda pin back to what he's doing the best is spinning. <laughs> that, that's not me gaining up on Mazda pin. It's just he needs sign to develop. But, you know, he's got to cut out on these errors. And Daniel Ricciardo, again, just huge questions have got to be asked. Now, I believe, as my friend, MUFC Racer, Daniel Ricciardo gets a bit of a free pass. He doesn't seem to get a lot of criticism because he's a nice guy. He's always happy in that. But no driver is immune from criticism. If a driver has a bad session or a bad race, you've got to say it. How it is, and Daniel Ricciardo yet again truly shocking in qualifying. So, got to improve big time, but I cannot wait for the race. Leclerc first, Hamilton second, Verstappen third. Unbelievable. 
Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. Wow. That's all that can be said. Wow. Bye-bye.